Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So basically this video, I'm just gonna be giving some updates on my hair. Um, one minute, I forgot my list. So in order to keep me from rambling on YouTube, um, in my videos, I made up a list of like points just to keep myself on track because I can get distracted and ramble on and on and on. And I know you don't wanna hear that. So anywho. It's been a while since I, um, it's been a while since I came on here and gave an update on my hair since I did my chop. Um, so I just wanted to follow up on that, um, to show you guys my hair. So, uh, this is my hair right now. And as you can see, it's grown. I mean, when I cut it, it was here and I've got some length back, which is okay. It's nice. I mean, when it's not shrunken up, uh, I do have some some stretch to it so it's about when it's wet it's about shoulder length like here just like right here touching my shoulders so it's grown a lot um, which is good uh, there's good and there's bad when it comes to my hair still um, the shedding I still have shedding I still get and I know shedding is normal but because I didn't really have a lot of shedding before my ends unraveled, it still bugs me. It's not as horrible. I mean, look, uh, I don't, you can't even see it, but when I go like this, like little tiny bits of hair like fall off on my clothes, which I hate. Um, so I still have shedding, but it is more controlled than it normally was. So I'm okay with that. Uh, my, oh. My edges, my edges, yes, my edges, yes, my edges, edges, edges. Anywho, so, uh, you know, um, after I had my baby, um, my Ed side did yam out, and um, it was not a good look. So I did let it grow in, and what I decided to do, because I found that every time I sister locked um, parts of my hair, my edges actually, um, that broke off, like it would make it worse like it would not the lock would not progress I would it would grow to a certain length and then because my my hair is soft it would unravel and then I'd get a big bunch at the end and then it would just have to be cut off or break off because it weighed down my lock but I decided to braid lock it instead like to do little braids and then I would just uh, band and braid them and to keep them from unraveling and honestly My it took better than when I sister locked my edges. It's weird. I don't know why but it just took better my hair um, Responded better to it. So these are my three little edge locks um, Yeah, so this one has grown to like this and this one like this and so like, you know, and I kept them a good size. I didn't do them too small. Like I'm not doing this part of my hair. I just won't. I just leave it to be free and do whatever it wants. And then I lock beside it here. And um, it's doing really well. I'm really impressed. And they haven't unraveled and they're growing nicely. And I love it. Um, you may notice my brows are hella dark. I did recently go and um, microblade it again, like I got a touch up. So I went darker and I'm waiting for them to peel off. I know this is not about my brow, but just in case you're wondering why my eyebrows look so dark. Um, yeah, so I'm just waiting for it to scab over and peel off and then it won't be as dark. But those are my edges and I'm really, 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 really happy with it. A question that I got in one of my previous videos was, can you make a video about how I combine my locks? I did combine some of my locks because, you know, they had thinned out and were breaking off. And they still are. But I'm going to show you one of the locks that I combined. So, this is a combined lock. And it's hard to see. But if you look really close, you can see the two strand twist pattern. So basically all I did with my locks to combine them is to twist them together because I watched a video, I can't remember who, and I'm sorry I can't give you the credit, but all I did was I just found two thin locks that were side by side and I twisted them together. So for example, 
this one because it takes a while for your locks to combine it, it like you don't twist it and then oh my gosh it's a lock no it takes a while so every time like as it grows on here it's combined but the ends still kind of unravel so what I do is I just two strand twist this bad boy all the way down the lock and when I do that it just encourages the two to become one it's like I'm marrying them by twisting them together I'm encouraging them to become one so yeah that's how I combine it and then this lock will eventually just fuse together and become one in holy lacamoni <laughs> that's funny anywho um my ends so as you know the struggle continues with my hair ends because i damaged my sister locks but what i noticed was i washed my hair recently i have to wash it a lot because i'm a nurse and i work in you know this whole covid pandemic thing and whenever we put those hair ties i like i have um caps that I wear to work and it just it just makes my head frowny. it just my head smell bad every time I take it off I'm like oh I don't know if it's because I'm dressed in all this PPE personal protective equipment and it just makes my head sweat and then it just frowns frowns as in smell bad like if you're Jamaican you know what frowny means it smells frowns a lot no but it, it just smells bad so it's musty it smells gross so I have to wash my hair like once or twice a week, which I didn't usually do. I try to just do once a week, but sometimes it's kind of a struggle because after I, I'm working out, so after I work out from like Monday to Thursday, my shifts are Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then my head smells bad, I have to wash it before I go to work because I'm not trying to like be smelly. And then by the time I finish work on Sunday morning, it stink again, so I have to wash it again. So. I wash my hair like twice a week. I'm trying my best not to because it does dry out my hair, but what can I do? I don't want to work on with stink ends. Anywho, stink hair, not ends, stink hair. So anywho, I, I, I used this setter. I had these like sponge rollers and honestly, they do pull on the lock because of the little pricks that are all over them. Can you hear that? Yeah, so, um, but what I found is it, they straightened my ends. Like, because my ends are unraveled when they're wet, they get really curly because of the texture of my hair. But what happened was the, the setter straightened my ends, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So I'll take the ones that are unraveled and let you see the very ends of them. And they're straight. Look. It's almost as if I have relaxed ends. It's totally unraveled, but they're totally straight. So I guess, you know, if you want to get that um, straight look and you have um, loose ends, use some sponge rollers. Uh, Velcro. Velcro, not sponge. Velcro rollers. That's why they're so sticky. Not sponge. Sorry, guys. It's Velcro. Use your Velcro rollers and you'll have that... Uh, that straight loose ends um, so that's my hair update you know I've been going through a lot with family issues and drama and whatnot but God is good you know I just watched watched a sermon and the pastor was just telling me to ask stop asking yourself the wrong questions and start asking yourself what does it matter like what does it matter if people don't talk to me anymore what does it matter if people don't like me what does it matter? Will it change my life in a day? Will it change my life in a decade? So what does it matter? So I'm going to start asking myself that question. And maybe I'll make a video about the drama that's been happening in my life. But right now, I kind of just want to go with the what does it matter approach. Because if you don't matter to people, they shouldn't matter to you. And uh, yeah, that's just what I'm going to leave it at right now. Um, future hair plans. I really love my sister locks. I do. But my I'm kind of leaning to restarting my locks. I'm kind of leaning towards big chopping it, like fade, and starting all over again. And I have a couple of reasons why. Um, 
I'm leaning towards that, but that's another video. I don't want to make, vid my, make my videos too long. So that's my update with my hair. I'll turn around so you can see the back and everything. I do want to color it again. I figure, you know what? It's already shedding and I might start it over. So I probably just have fun with it until I do. So I do have a little bit of brown in it, as you can see. And um, this is my hair right now. So I'll turn around and hopefully my camera stays in focus. But please don't be angry with me if it does. I'm still learning. Okay. So yeah. So there it is on the side. And let me turn around to the back so you can see. Okay, so yeah, anywho, that's my hair. It is growing. It is, um, you know, trying to do its thing, and I'm trying my best not to harp on what it used to be, um, and just enjoy it for what it is now. So I'm have I'm living that Bob life still, but my Bob is growing, as my mother would say, yeah, I've growing hair, Carrie. I've growing hair. Don't fret. Yeah, I've growing hair. So yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will post another video soon enough to keep you guys updated on all the other stuff that's happening. God bless. Bye-bye.